Hello and welcome back to Pyre. I am Lazy Bones, and on the last episode we had another sweet battle. This time it wasn't completely lopsided, they at least scored on us a couple times, which was good. Um, also, it reminds me that you can change the difficulty settings that I didn't even think about last time. Ah, oh, I'm on standard. Heightened. Your adversaries shall have surpassed powers in the rights. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, so we've only had two right battles. Only two. Okay, o only two. So, I'm going to keep it on standard. Till I feel a little bit more comfortable. And then maybe on the next episode, if we have a right, if we have a battle or whatever on this episode... Then I'll change it on the next episode for the next right. Y you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to let you guys know, I'm on standard. So, yeah. There we go. So, on the next right. This. Wait, the, on the next right. On this upcoming right, we'll do standard. And then it went after that, we'll do hard. Alright, now nah, let's talk to him. <laughs> Whew. Okay, after having bested the fate in a decisive victory last night. You find Hedwin off on his own. He senses you sense he wants to talk about your decision to exclude him from conducting the right. I guess we'll have some tough choices to make before all this is over, my friend. Just been thinking about that. I'm glad you let the others go instead of me during the right. I mean that. All the more since we succeeded. I don't know what's more intense, participating in the right, or just watching from the sidelines. Anyway, thank you for checking in. I'm off to go make sure we are ready to move. He departs to check on things outside. You sense that he has no misgivings about what transpired, and is more concerned at present about the missing minstrel. the book. Anything change? I don't think so. We only had those two pages. Oh! Um, actually, it's one little thing I wanted to do for... Wait, who's the quickest? I was gonna give this thing to him, but wait, why is his thing in green? Oh, huh. okay. Don't know what that's about. I'm sure the game will tell us later. Let's continue the journey. There is still no sign of the lone minstrel, although Jadariel tracks potential signs of movement east, the same way you are headed. You consider where to search for him. Glue Hive and Fall Flat. The north route across the Jumor Valley passes the remains of the Hive Titan. Jadario believes the missing minstrel must have taken the same route you took earlier. The south route across Jumor Valley is riddled with barren rock and bone. Hedwin thinks the missing minstrel could have taken the route opposite to the one you took. Aw, oh, this is a this is tough. Huh. I think uh, I want to go here because we didn't go this way last time, but in the dialogue earlier, Chidario is the only one that gave us any sense to where he was going. 
So let's go with this way. Hedwin and I, you know, we're, we're, we're pals now, so I'm sure he won't get butt hurt. As you make your way through the dusty wastes of Gluhive, all there is to show for the missing minstrel is a deeper scowl on Jadariel's face. Get him up. Blast! I felt certain that we would that he would have taken our same route to the spring of Jamor. It's alright, Jody. He could have gone anywhere. Likely there was nothing to be found either way. We should keep moving. You pick up bits of pieces of the minstrel's significance significance to your fellow exiles. He was there when you when they first discovered the black wagon, but they speak little more of it for now. So we're going. Set up. Huh. Stop the wagon. Okay, sir. What? How come? Woman at all. Because of her. <gasps> They're coming. They're coming for us. We have to be ready. We have to. Does she mean what I think she means? I believe so. <gasps> Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare the wagon for whatever is out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of their source of concern. <gasps> prepare for the night. Mm. This is new. Oh, maze scribe catcher. The bundle of sticks may insisted on hanging in the rafters. She believes it brings good fortune. Humming softly. We read that last time. I guess we're going to prepare for the night. They are coming for us. They fear the scribes. They fear the scribes. I know they do. What's she? Uh, wait. What's she talking about? What's going on? Howlers, lots of them. Then, what are we going to do? They fear the scribes. Calm yourself, mate. We shall give them reason for us to fear us as well. We'll use the remnants and the books. Indeed, one of us can draw them out. Under the reader's watch, it shall be just like one of the Ra'al rites. Hedwin turns to you. It seems we need your help in this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. I will do it, mister. Please. You have to let me and the scribes. They will protect me. I know they will. Jadario exchanges looks with Hedwin. Each of them nods at you as if to signal their approval. May intends to help fend off the howlers. Prepare for them. Oh, this looks a little new. Wow, this is getting loud. Oh, that howling sound. It means, it means they're here. Oh, by the scribes, they're here. What am I supposed to do? Fend off the howler's current reward. Press to toggle aim assist and settings. Do speed. 
and flashing to power cast. Oh. That did not work out as I planned. Oh no. Ugh. I'm stuck! Looks like we're good. Wow. I'm sorry guys. This the 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 music was crazy loud. Oh that sleep below They sing. Does that sound better? That? I think that's good. Alright. More. I think there's many more. Oh, here they come, here they come. Many more. Let's do this. Oh, I got one. Shoot. How am I supposed to... No! <laughs> Wow, a lot of them got through. It is over now at last. Oh, is it over now at last? Uh, it is. I think it is. Oh, those poor and wretched beasts. Huh? Just then, May spots something creeping toward her. <gasps> <gasps> what? The heck? Ferocious creature. <laughs> oh no! Are holding B release when you see a flash the power cast in exiles or for uh, the howling subsides as you follow exiles as your fellow exiles scramble out to check on me. You find her in one piece, along with an unfamiliar little face. Oh, it's like a little owl. Drive imp. Ski. Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? S Ski -hoo. You sense a depth of experience in this creature. At least judging by Drive Imp standards. In fact, you feel a connection to him. If you concentrate, perhaps you can derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. <laughs> Scree kiri ki. The drive imp seems both excited and frustrated by something. I'm trying to try. Oh! The drive imp seems to have history with your black wagon. You are beginning to understand him. The drive imp recognizes you as the new reader of the Night Wings. He is pleased to meet you. You can now understand this unusual drive imp. I can. The drive imp seems satisfied at having gotten through to you, and you explain to your companions that little you, what little you have learned of him so far. No one argues against letting the creature come along. Inside the wagon, the other drive imps stare at him with something like reverence. The drive imp joined you. You seem to know his way around. He seems to know. He seems to have something on his mind. You can see the little imp has made himself at home. He rushes right up to you. 
The new imp companion seems very pleased to be in the wagon. X to press continue. He indicates he was able to find you thanks to the swarm of howlers. Whoa. He has no love of howlers, and they know not to mess with him either. He plans to set up a net nest that should ward off any further trouble from them. He looks forward to the road uh, to the road ahead with everyone and believes it shall be worth it. He seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs, and he urges to keep going. You to keep going. He bounds off towards his brethren settled in the wagon's rafters. Well. Oh, this must be the nest. Talking about. Maybe not. Okay. Let's continue the journey. Lick sand. An arid southern pass toward the ominous Karen of Herb. Your new imp friend seems insistent that you take this path bearing east. Looks like this is the only option. Let's, let's go. Hedwin orders the wagon to a halt somewhere in the dry flats of Jamor Valley. Cactus. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches, arms spread wide. Although, a hat and cloak conceal the figure's features. <coughs> then, the imp rushes out toward whomever it is. The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching, though in an almost joyous way. Avistare. Oh, the low minstrel. Tizo. It is good to see you. And you found the others even faster than expected. The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns toward the rest of you. He is a venerable drive imp who seems to know the ins and outs of the Nightwing's black wagon. Bon dia, Hello. We have not met, but I know who you are, or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think maybe you had. Hello, indeed. You had us worried there when you took off. I should... I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the Nightwings have returned. Your client? Some Felice. I, my client, Sandalwood. He is your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find his wagon by mistake. Sandalwood, the apparent name of some mysterious informant of Hedwin, Jadariel, and Rookie. So what now? You continue down the you continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we met my client, he shall explain. When we meet my client, he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not interfere. But I mean to accompany you. What well, would that be all right? Hedwin and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, minstrel. You got a name? I am... I am sometimes called 
Tarek, Tariq. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. The lone minstrel returns to the black wagon with your fellow exiles. Uh, he like we joined the group. Journey onward. The carrion carrion of Hub is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next rite is soon to commence. Ligaratus, reader. If you have a moment, once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon, at your leisure. Oh, page revealed, the rope collar. Mm. This is new? Speak to him first. The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He is very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. Reader, I shall keep this brief. As you shortly have a right, you must come and conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rights, which means that you may know something of my nature. On the contrary, you know not what he means. And he soon senses this. Forgive me, for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, I have served the Nightwings for some time. Conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. The lone minstrel nods farewell to you and steps away. I should have read this first, I guess. Ha ha! Inspect. The rope collar in the world in the words of Gol Galathanian, the Master General. I knew it was a fool's errand, but my liege, he would not listen. He instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly fallen from the heavens in the reaches out of the downside. He would be a living legend if only he could grasp it. Whispered in his ear that Kyle Oh boy. Kylmer rope collar his elder and most trusted aide. Would that I would that I slew that man myself. His was a simple and yet brilliant ruse to draw the emperor farther still from his responsibilities and towards his greed. Thus did the emperor re ah. thus did the emperor begin an expedition into the forsaken lands. He insisted that he go home, go himself. Oh man, my reading is terrible right now. I've been playing for a while, so you know what. I'm going to read this last thing, and then we're going to call it an episode. The Lone Minstrel and his white lute chronicle the journey of the Nightwings through song. Using it, you may hear glimpses of your past experiences across Downside. Oh, which piece of music do you wish to hear? Hmm. This? Achievement unlocked. The while oh, it's not a, it's not appearing on the recording. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. But that's the end of the episode. <sighs> Take care of yourself. Have many many good ones. This is Pyre. I'm Lazy Bones, and see you in the next one. Bye.